So in this lesson, we're going to talk about the accounting equation. Now, the accounting equation kind of is the basis for how we interact with a transaction when it comes to accounting. So we have all these transactions, we buy a piece of equipment, and then what? You know, how do we book that into our books? Um, unlike your checkbook in which, you know, you might, in, in the old school days, you would have a ledger, you know, with your checks, and then you would write your check number, what you paid for, and then the amount. Um, we have a more sophisticated way of doing accounting in, in the books, and now we have software that kind of kind of help us from a uh, company standpoint, and the accounting the accounting equation kind of helps us understand that. So let's talk about the review of some of the elements that we talked about before in other lessons. These are the six kind of categories that we talked about, and they're going to be important here because we're going to talk about these six with the accounting equation. Now remember, we've got assets, um, which are economic resources owned by a company that are expected to benefit future operations. We have liabilities, things that the businesses owe to companies or other businesses or customers. We have owner's equity, kind of what do we put in as an owner into the company, um, and then what we've retained, really. And then we've got revenues, expenses, and dividends. Revenues is how much money that we've brought in in the pursuit of providing a service or delivering a product. Expenses is what things that we have to pay for in order to bring these revenues. And then dividends are items or amounts or money or things that we've distributed back to the owners kind of for their share of owning the business. Okay, So those are our six categories. They're going to be very useful here when we talk about the accounting equation. Now, the accounting equation is very simple um, and a lot of textbooks uh, show it this way. Assets equals liabilities plus owners equity. So that's the accounting equation. Now, I typically use abbreviations, so you're going to see me all the time go A equals L plus O E. Okay, um, So assets equals liabilities plus owners equity. Now, the one thing to know about the accounting equation is that if one side goes up, the other side either needs to go up or the same side needs to come down. Now, let me give you an example. We remember when we talked about the bank. A bank um, would be like a category or an asset. So that bank has different accounts. So assets, we might have different accounts. We might have cash. We might have AR, inventory. Now remember our example a long time ago, we talked about buying 100 shirts at a dollar a piece. Well, I might have paid for cash, so cash comes down for those 100 shirts, but I received in return $100 of inventory. So that goes down, that goes up. Notice my equation would still balance out because nothing changed here. The only thing that changed are these two here. Okay? So the accounting equation, if this side goes up, then this side will have to go up somehow. Liability has to go up or an owner's equity has to go up or another account within this category has to go down Okay, so that we have a net zero change on this side and nothing changes over here. Okay? So that's our accounting equation. Okay? Now, we can expand this equation just a bit. And the way that we expand it is with this owner's equity. Now, this is something that a lot of books may not show you, but we're going to show you it today because it makes sense when we talk about debits and credits. Okay? So, uh, owner's equity. Owner's equity really could be thought of as owner's capital. plus revenues minus expenses minus dividends. Okay. Now, notice that we're using revenues, expenses, and dividends now. Okay. So, owner's equity theoretically includes owner's capital, how much I put into the business to invest in that business. And then my equity goes up if we bring in revenues, right? So revenues comes in, equity goes up, but I'm gonna to have to 
pay for some things, so expenses. Well, that's going to bring my equity down because I no longer have access to that cash because I had to uh, you, uh, pay for expenses in order to bring in revenues. And then dividends are no longer in equity because I've received it as the owner. So it's no longer in the business. So um, owner's equity can be uh, thought of as owner's capital plus revenues minus expenses minus dividends. Now here is where we get to kind of the real expanded equation. And I'm going to use abbreviations um, so that we can show this. This from algebra can be put into this equation here. So we get assets equals liabilities plus instead of owner's equity, we have owner's capital plus revenues minus expenses minus dividends, okay? Now, if you're like me, I don't like the negative signs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those negative signs away and the way that we do it is we add to each side that item. Okay, and then at the end of the day, we're left with assets plus expenses plus dividends equals liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue. Okay, now the reason why I'm teaching you this is because later on, we're going to use this thing or this item called debits and credits, which we'll talk about in our next lesson. But Assets plus expenses plus dividends equals liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue. That's what I like to call our expanded accounting equation. Now, same principles apply over here. If something over here goes up, then something over here has to come down, or sorry, go up or something over here has to come down. Whether it's another asset account that has to come down, maybe the expense uh, has to come down, maybe the dividends have to come down, okay? But this has to net to zero because nothing's gonna change on this side. So once again, if something goes up here, something else has to go up here, or something down has to come down here to net this down to zero. Okay, so that's the accounting equation. It's very simple, very easy. We use it again. Um, we use this again to figure out how transactions hit the books in our financial statements and hit our finances um, when it comes to booking the transactions that we might occur as a business. So assets plus expenses plus dividends equals liabilities plus owner's capital plus revenue. That's the accounting equation, and that's what you need to know as we go into our next session, which is all about debits and credits.